Hey Low Winners, it's Lowity6 here with another video. Today's a bit more of a serious video, but I'm gonna talk about why there's a big problem with the COVID-19 vaccine coming from China. Now China is racing against the clock to use vaccine diplomacy to be the first on the ground to be able to deliver its vaccine to different countries. While this sounds fairly harmless and while this sounds fairly altruistic, we have to remember that we're talking about the government that allowed this pandemic to happen, but also the government that hoarded PPE and all of the medical supplies that we needed in all the countries around the world and sold them back or donated them back to countries in need so that they could look good in front of the rest of the world. This not only affected hospitals and healthcare workers, but even local American citizens. For example, this box is for American use only for children's masks uh, with a Disney theme here. These were manufactured in the USA and Mexico and were for only the American domestic market. They originally cost between $10 and $20 per box. We ended up having to pay about $40 per box and they did come from China. So China bought these masks and then resold them at double the price back to Americans during the pandemic. These are very hard to come by now anyway. We're talking about a country with severe human rights atrocities, but most importantly, a horrific track record with vaccines. Now, I'm not a scientist. I haven't been inside of a lab. I can't vouch for the efficacy of the Chinese vaccines coming out of China. However, I can tell you this. I did live through and personally experience the vaccine scandals that happen in China, and the details of those are enough to alarm you. From 2013 to 2016, a series of vaccine scandals were attributed to the deaths of 21 babies. Now that's just official numbers. That's just what the Chinese government put out there. Actually, there were many, many more people affected. A lot of these vaccine scandals were attributed to this uh, company called Changsheng, which is like a pharmaceutical firm in Jilin province. In 2017, they discovered that Changshan and the Wuhan Institute of Biological Products sold more than 652,000 defective vaccines. These were for diphtheria, pertussis, which is like whooping cough, and tetanus. And in July 2018, a whistleblower from Changsheng informed authorities that the company fabricated production records of rabies vaccines as well. In the end, more than 900,000 vaccines were found to be faulty. You see, this didn't just happen one time, this happened multiple times. How, in a one-party state with all this control and punishment and all these measures in place, how can a country's government allow a company to scam and poison and kill its own citizens multiple times? With impunity, really. How in the Chinese state that uses state-of-the-art technology and surveillance how are they not able to monitor vaccine safety? How is that even an issue? Well, it's quite simple, actually. In a top-down one-party state government, accountability isn't your problem. It's the next guys. So this kept happening. People kept dying. People kept getting affected by bunk vaccines, fake vaccines, all for the profit of this company, which in the end turned out to be state-backed. In many of these vaccine scandals, the companies at large received tax breaks, preferential government treatment, visits from top leadership, you see, in China, provinces that raise the GDP for the whole country, the provinces and cities that actually make those numbers go up, they receive preferential treatment from top leadership. And how can the infallible dictator for life be wrong when they back a vaccine company, even though it causes so much damage? Well, they can't. Sure, some people and companies responsible get punished financially, and that's mostly to show people that something was done and to stop public uproar because in the end, social harmony in China is the most important thing above all else. But in the end, if you're connected in anything, I'm not just talking about this vaccine scandal, you get away with it in China. Everything in China works like this. Also, when people are not allowed to speak up, you know, on matters like the vaccine scandals that kill their babies and affect everybody around the country. When people can't talk about it, how can anything change? You see, look at the publication in 2018 called The King of Vaccines, which highlighted the issues surrounding the vaccine scandal in uh, Jilin province. It actually talked about how this actually went down, how it happened, and it was met with public uproar. People went wild. It was crazy. Everyone was going insane because they finally got to see how it happened, why it happened, and the truth of why it happened. It was because of government bribery, corruption, and all of these things culminated in poisoning of babies. People's children were affected. My child was affected. This essay touched the lives of everyone in China when it went viral. But guess what? The government removed the essay within one day of it being published. 
However, that caused enough public outlash and uproar and absolute insane amount of people really, really upset to force the government to make a public punishment of people that were complicit in this whole vaccine scandal. Unfortunately, because they censored the article, because they censored the essay and took it down, more change couldn't have been made. You see, people get away scot-free with this kind of stuff, and that's the evil nature of how the Chinese government works. Unfortunately, nobody is complicit until enough people cause or threaten social harmony. With constant censorship, people have to trust corrupt businesses, led by a corrupt government, led by corrupt people. It's a vicious circle that doesn't change. The only thing that happens in China is stuff gets swept under the rug, people lie, people get away with it, and the only people that are affected are the actual Chinese people at the bottom. The Chinese government claims to care about its own citizens, yet they use them as cannon fodder for any kind of situation like this. They allow the suffering and death of their own citizens and then try to cover it up. My daughter, during the height of the vaccine scandal when she was born in China, she received the vaccines that were tied to the vaccine scandal. So when you see these people on YouTube talking about how well the Chinese government's done to control this pandemic and how great they are at coming up with vaccines and how they're the top of the pops when it comes to scientific discoveries, Maybe they didn't have daughters that actually received bunk vaccines within China. My daughter had to go all the way to the US to get antibody tests to make sure that she wasn't affected. I personally know how credible China is when it comes to vaccines. And I have a personal problem when everybody is talking about how amazing the Chinese government is at rolling out this vaccine that they have. All these countries that China has managed to use its vaccine dis diplomacy and sign agreements with, these people are, are receiving vaccines that have not passed all of the phases of trials yet. These people are receiving vaccines from a country that, where the pandemic not only came from, but also has a horrific track record with vaccinations, scandals, and the poisoning of its own people. You see, China loves to talk about how successful they are at doing things, especially diplomatically. They like to talk about how they're the friend of this country. They like to talk about how they were super, super close with Italy during the breakout of the pandemic and how they delivered all those PPEs. Little do, do people know that they actually forced Italy to buy all that PPE and then stand there and basically kiss China's ass to say thank you. What we're looking at is a country that only looks out for itself, but actually not even that. It's a country that is willing to throw its own citizens under the bus as guinea pigs, as whatever fodder for political stability and political hierarchy. You see, if you're not in the party, you don't matter in China. We're already seeing countries that have tried out the Chinese vaccine dealing with medical problems. And I'm not surprised. I do believe in vaccination. I do believe that most countries that are working on a vaccine are probably doing their utmost to make sure that it's okay. But I've lived in China long enough to know that the chain of command that face is more important than the efficacy of a vaccine. Face is more important than human life. Mao Zedong said it himself. I'm not afraid of nuclear war. There are 2.7 billion people in the world. It doesn't matter if some are killed. China has a population of 600 million. Even if half of them are killed, there are still 300 million people left. China and the Chinese government uses its people as a statistic. This carries over to modern day. This is not just Chairman Mao. 但是你死四千人和美国死二十二人比你等于一个人都没死嘛对吧你咱们等于差不多也是接近零感染接近零死亡十四亿人死了四千人你根本就等于没人得病没人死嘛 China believes that its people are a statistic I believe Chinese people are people You cannot brag about how few people died and use lives as a laughing statistic to brag in front of the rest of the world that's just not how a civilized country works. China's using its neocolonialism, using poor countries in Africa as a test bed for new and unproven vaccines. They will continue to do so with other countries, just to say that they were there first. Meanwhile, they, for the elite, will probably import vaccines. Oh wait, they just imported 7 million Pfizer vaccines. Where do you think those are going to? And if you've been to a Chinese hospital, you'll know that if you're going in for vaccinations, especially for your children, They'll actually give you an option if it's available, whether you want a domestic vaccination from China or the much more expensive imported vaccination, whether it be from France or the UK or the US. By and large, most of the Chinese people I talked to preferred to get the foreign vaccine, the imported one. I actually spoke to a doctor and she did confirm that most of her patients, unless incredibly poor, always chose the imported vaccination. So why would countries around the world be scrambling to get the vaccine from China when in fact, the elite in China prefer the ones coming from abroad? China can't even get it straight to where the whole coronavirus started. First it started in Wuhan, 
then it started in Italy, then it started in Japan, then it started on frozen meats from Australia. You ever heard of Occam's razor, China? No, apparently not, because nothing can be the Chinese government's fault, never. Given all this, why are we placing trust not only in the country that allowed this pandemic to begin, but has time and again poisoned its own citizens with fake medicine and vaccine. I understand that countries are beholden to China with debt traps and more, and I know that this pandemic has people in dire straits, but why are we constantly allowing the Chinese government to lie and to cheat and to poison its way to the top? If the CCP, the Communist Party of China, is willing to treat its own citizens as subhuman, then why would it do any better with the lives of people in other countries? Chinese government, you may think that your citizens are just a number. You may think that your citizens are just a statistic. But the Chinese people that I know and love are human beings, whether you like it or not. They deserve the best. They deserve better. And so does the rest of the world. We're sick of your shit. Wake up.